Hey YouTube, um, today I will show you the methods on how to get Siri running on your iPad 2. Uh, first of all, go into Siri and you will need to add three repos here. You will need to add the Basim Kasim repo and this is it here. Uh, it's it there, the Basim Siri dot Basim Kasim dot com. You will need the Insanely A repo. And you will need the tick wick repo. Uh, so once you add those three root repos, um, come back to Syria and go into the Basim Kasim, and you will need the uh, current, uh, whatever your current device firmware is, you will need. So mine is um, iPad 6.1.2. Um, so whatever whatever firmware you're on then that's the one you need. So um, install that there, it will take, make sure you're using Wi-Fi, it will take um, a few minutes. Uh, then come to the Insanely I repo and search for um, Assistant Connect. If you're using your own 4S keys, this is the way to do it. You can go and you can search for Assistant Connect non-4S, uh, I mean uh, non-Spire, non sorry. Non spire and it will look something like um, it will look something like that. Assistant Connect non spire. So you need to download that. Uh, if you're not using 4S keys, then you come to the uh, last repo that you added, which was this one here, um, and you look for Pat set up for iOS 6. Okay, and install that. Then come back to uh, Cydia. Um, come into your uh, settings. Come to Acid Settings and the the um, proxy host for the Siri will um, already be there. So and it's uh, make sure Siri is enabled. Respring your device. Now, if you're using 4S keys, then this is how we do it. We go to your um, Assistant Connect. You also need Assistant Connect 4S running on the 4S device. Um, it should work uh, just straight off the bat. You don't need a modified version of that. Um, send the keys over via email. Just email them to yourself. Um, when you open the when you open the file, it should say open in Assistant Connect. So you won't even have to open this app. It will open automatically. And uh, it'll come up, it should say something in the middle of the screen along the lines of the file has been successfully added. So after that, come back out of there, reboot your device. It has to be a reboot, can't be a respring, it has to be a reboot. Reboot up, once it comes back um, up, then you test Siri. Hello Siri. Hello. And it should be working. So, uh, what I did leave out, I actually forgot to say, was the SB settings. You must go into SB settings. Um, go to more. Let that load up. Um, come into your mobile substrate add-ons. And you must turn off, if you're using your 4S keys, this is how, this is what you do. Um, your PAT services must be off. I'm using 4S keys, so that has to be off. Um, everything else, um, just leave it as it is. Everything else in there, just leave as it is. Um, that should all be on. But you must turn off your... Uh, your uh, PAT services. If you're using 4S keys, uh, do that before you reboot the device, and uh, everything should be working. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. I'm Skipple24. See you in the next one.